Hello YouTube, Metal Trooper 62 here, and yes, I know it's been probably almost a year since I did a vid video, but uh, yeah, I just got kind of busy, got burned out on doing videos. I've still been watching other people's videos and comment. I don't really comment that that much, but I do watch a lot of my subscribers' videos and stuff. So, but anyway. This video is a thank you video to Capo J. He sent me this freaking awesome Plum Ismash AK-74 magazine. I don't know, my phone's... And that's another reason. I do these videos on my phone. And I am definitely due for a new phone. But uh, this magazine has been hardly used. You can see... Hopefully, I can get this. But there's very little wear on the locking lugs. Very little. And it's got nice proof stamps. Mold number 26. And there's the Ismash mark. Another proof stamp. But these are amazing mags. I had a fair amount of these, and a buddy of mine bought one of the Arsenal. I don't know the nomenclature, but I think it's the 104 series, the uh, AK-74s. His has the folding butt stock, not the triangle stock. And it only came with one mag, so I had sold him, I think, five or six of my plum Plum mags at a pretty decent price, but I told him if he ever decided to get rid of the gun or the mags, that I get first choice on the mags at what I sold him to at what I sold him to them for. But anyway, this is a this is a thank you to Capo J. I'll leave a link to one of his videos. I don't really know how to leave, leave a link to his channel. I'm retarded that way. I'm very computer illiterate. So, and no, I'm not I'm not politically correct, so please don't take offense in the word retard or retarded. But this is very, very nice. And I think I did a video on these way back, but if you get these in the light, you can see some of these have been sp spray painted from here up. Here down, that's basically to protect the metal and stuff. And this is all metal feed lips, metal locking lugs, metal floor plate. These are just great mags. And I haven't priced these recently, but normally these was, I think when I got mine, they were going for 35 to 40 bucks. Um, I have seen them cheaper, but they're definitely in much more used condition and I hope this video is coming out because it looks like it's kind of out of focus but anyway I thank you much Capo J I greatly greatly appreciate this I definitely will add this to the collection and it's one of the nicer ones I have so this one might just get put in a bag and tucked in my AK collect AK mag collection but, obviously, if stuff goes down, I will use every mag I have, if possible. But anyway, go check him out. I'm sure that if you're probably subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to him. Uh, he's pretty much into the AKs, traditional-like, like with the Woodstock, and that's pretty much the way I like it. But, uh, but yeah, I, I don't really like the tactical AKs, but that's my personal preference. I mean, if whatever works for, for somebody else, go with it. But I like the tradi traditional look. I like the wood stocks, and then I like some of the, the plum polymer and stuff like that. Whatever came from the military, that's pretty much what I like. 
But uh, anyway, this has gone five minutes. And I will be doing more videos. I've had a few people ask me where I've been, need to do videos. But I've been actively getting stuff over these past several months. I just don't do videos on them. But I'm going to start digging some of this stuff out and doing videos on them. I've got some pretty decent ammo scores. Uh, trying to think of what else. I don't think I've picked up any new AK parts kits. I got... I got so many of those right now that I'm overwhelmed with them. And I have been getting into the AR, ARs. So I might show some of that. Been getting lowers and stuff like that. Lower receivers. But anyway, go check out Capo J. Thanks again, brother. I greatly appreciate it. So anyway, y'all have a good one. This is Metal Trooper 62 saying see ya.